Hi everyone, day five of my goal challenge, my 90 days to reach some specific goals I have for my life. I um, was really looking forward to talking to you today. I was trying to set up the camera to do my video right after work like I do and try to do it real quickly before my husband came to meet me and he pulled up right as I was taking out the camera. So he said, oh, I could tell you were annoyed. I wasn't annoyed, but... I decided that now I'm either going to have to do this on my lunch hour or something or maybe early in the morning because I want to make sure that I have a specific time each day to check in with you. Um, I had a really good day today. I woke up early, really ridiculously early, like 3.15 a.m. And I had my alarm set for 4.15 because I was going to go early to the gym, but I woke up at 3.15 and I thought, well, I'm up anyway and now I'm not going to go back to sleep for an hour. So. I got up, I wrote some things out for the day that I wanted to do and did some writing and um, that was really good and productive. I did a little bit of journaling and I liked that a lot. So what I decided to do is I don't want to confuse everyone with all of these goals I have and make it you know, so convoluted of I have 10 goals, 7 are short term, 3 are long term. I'm not going to do that and plus it's hard to work on all of them every day. So what I'm going to do is just focus on my top 3 specific goals so and really those kind of make everything else happen and um, so I think what I'm going to do is just focus on those and then weekly I'll update you on the other ones so what we've got here that I've picked for my top three goals is spirit and service um, running and fitness and program manual slash side business which are really two goals but I kind of combined them into one so Spirit and service is Bible prayer and being of service to others. I think that should be my number one goal. It should be because without God directing my path, I'm not going to have anything, any of these things. So I'm trying to be more mindful of having quiet time in the day, not constantly being, checking my phone, looking at email and those things, and reading the Bible, um, meditating, and getting back into church as I talked about which is going to happen on Sunday going to the new pastor ceremony and um, also telling my story of recovery on Monday so I'll be doing that I'm looking forward to that I haven't done it for a long time so spirit and service what I did today was uh, well last night before bed I read the Bible and this morning I prayed and um, did some writing kind of the way my inner voice was guiding me and then just throughout the day, try to check in with God and uh, ask Him for guidance throughout my day. With running and fitness, I did interval sprints again this morning. It went really well. I did three miles of intervals um, where I would jog and then I would sprint for a quarter mile and then jog and sprint for a quarter mile. And it was a really good workout. It goes by fast. Except I noticed that um, something that happens to me when I'm when I'm sprinting, and part of it is mental, that when I approach my uh, VO2 max, when I start to get to my lactic threshold, I feel um, prickling sensation in my arms and legs, and, and I feel this feeling in my lungs that I'm, I can only explain it like it feels like spearmint, or it feels like... Um, like this burning I guess so you know I know that I'm approaching my max and I start to get anxious I start to my heart rate jacks up and I start to freak out a little bit and so I think that limits me a little because I know that I'm almost a failure and I get afraid that I'm not gonna be able to finish so that's something I need to work on overcoming um, then as far as my program manual it's coming along so great I've got 80 pages done and I'm so happy that with the way it's coming along sometimes when I'm writing in it I just feel like like you know the Holy Spirit is working through me and putting this manual together um, my goal my ultimate goal is to implement this manual at my current job and then in all of our programs throughout the state and eventually for it to you know help other people in other treatment centers across the country, the world, or, you know, I don't think there's any limit to it. I, and it. It encompasses all of the things that I think are important and crucial in a chemical dependency program. Um, the elements I think are useful and helpful and necessary. Um, motivational interviewing stages of change, social learning theory, self-efficacy, uh, using exercise and treatment. That's my mantra. And uh, uh, the way it, it, it works in the brain and the physiology, physio physiological aspect of it. So my manual is going awesome and that has kind of become my focus because I really want to have that done by November 11th. 
So I'm up to page 80 on that, and I'm planning a seminar for early October where I can train um, LADCs, give them continuing education, and that is another way to grow my side business. So that's what I got done today. I think it was a lot. Uh, just to leave you with a couple things, um, I got an email from someone in another part of the state who works for the company I work for, and I've never met her, but the bottom of her email said, if you can conceive it in your mind, then it can be brought into the physical world. Dr. Wayne Dyer, and I'm sure some of you have heard of him, and I've seen a lot of his quotes before, and I thought, wow, you know, that's a really cool quote. So I wrote back to her and I said, you know, I really like your quote, um, and I really like Wayne Dyer. And uh, she wrote back and she said, you just made my day by saying that. And it just, it was so great. You know, I f it made me feel really good inside, and, and I decided, you know what, I, uh, I want to make somebody's day every day. So that's going to be my goal is to make people's day as much as I can and to just try to motivate and inspire people as much as possible. One more Wayne Dyer quote to leave you with. It's never crowded along the extra mile. So there you have it. I will see you again tomorrow for day six. Have a great night and I'll talk to you later.